Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue our Tamiya Grasshopper 2 kit build series. We're going to be working on step 10 through 16, which is all about the suspension. Let's jump right into it. Start with step 10. We're going to need C15 and C16, which are these two right here. And they were on the C tree. We're also going to need the two springs. They're right here. They were in the B parts bag. I used up the Tamiya grease in the gearbox. So today I'm going to be using this synthetic silicone grease super lube. And I have it in the syringe right here. So let's just start by putting a little bit here, which is going to be in the next step and a little bit here. This piece is like this, this piece is like that. And for this piece, it's going to look like that when you're done. Should be right there, should look like that. This next part's a little bit tricky. First, let's put a little bit of grease here. Push it through. Right now we're going to turn this over like this. I have the chassis right here. And that is going to index to this right here. We also have to try to keep the spring in place. So this is a little bit tricky. Right like this. And I'm going to hold it with my finger. And this end right here. It goes this way. So this end of the shaft right here needs to go on top of the spring. Like that. And now I'm going to get something to hold this up. So before I screw it on, let's take a look. All right, it's on that side and it's on this side and it seems to be working. All right, let's put the screws in. Just a quick closer look, what that should look like. All right, starting at step 12, we're gonna start using the C parts bag. We're gonna be building the rear dampers, so we need the two long springs. We're also going to need two of these damper shafts and two BA6 screws. We need part A3, which are these two right there. We're also going to need C13 and C4, which are these and those two right there. So let's start by putting just a little bit of grease. Thread that through. spring on all right We're going to match up this hole right here with this hole and put it together with a screw. All right. Let's 
do the second one. All right, and we're done with step 12. All right, let's work on step 13. We're going to need these BC2 step screws. We need four of those. We're also going to need two of those BB7 washers, and I believe it's in this bag right there. There we go. Of course, we need the chassis back and the grease as well. I think I'm gonna work from the bottom up so I'm going to start with one of these step up screws and thread this through to the bottom of the damper. And before I put that in there, I need to put a little grease here on the step. And then on the other side, I'm going to put a washer. And I'm going to screw it onto that hole right there. And the top should be easy. Okay, work on the other side. And probably the most important thing, we need to connect the motor. I'm gonna do yellow to yellow, green to the blue. And make sure they seat all the way in. Start working on step 14. All right, for step 14, let's get all the hardware ready. We need two of these BC1 screws, two of these BC3 ball connectors, two of these BC5 screw pins, and two of these BC10 tubes. We're also going to need these A2 parts, A5 and A6, which are the arms. And the last thing we need are these uprights right here. Of course, we're gonna need our grease. It looks complicated, but really isn't. So let's start with the upright. And we're gonna put one of these ball connectors on here. And if you look at the ball connector closely, you can see that there are flat parts right here, and that's gonna be used to accommodate a hex wrench. We grab this okay like that then we're going to take a five and this is going to go in this way like that and we need to put a pin through which is this right here Not too tight. You want to make sure there's good movement still. Okay. Now we're going to take the A2 and put this tube through there like that. And I'm going to put the screw through here and get it ready. And I need to give this a little bit of grease as well. Again, don't over tighten. Make sure there's plenty of movement. 
Same with this other side. Now let's pay attention to which side we put the ball connector on. All right, and we're done. Let's move on to the next page. All right, for step 15, we're going to need the chassis again, also the front bumper, and this A1 skid plate. The two arms, we're going to flip upside down like that. And we're gonna need six of these BA5 screws and the grease. So the arms are going to go into this hole right here and then rest in this groove like that. Same with this side. Then the skid plate's going to go on like this to hold them down. And then the bumper will go on last. We need grease on both ends of the suspension arm. Going to need three screws. Now we're going to line up the bumper. Let's work on step 16. We're going to need the other two BC4 pins, the front coil springs, and the two C11s which were right here. Also going to need the grease. So I'm going to start with the shaft. And C11 has two ends. There's a pointy end and a flat end. The pointy end is going to go towards the top of the screw. And the flat end is going to go towards the spring. Like that, and now we're going to loop the spring onto that. And screw it on. Same on the other side. And when you're done, it should look like this. Last thing we need to do is to connect the rod with the upright. I might need a pair of pliers here, but you maybe not. Oh, they snap right on. Great. Terrific. All right, today we put together the rear suspension as well as the front suspension. We also connected the steering. We're getting very close to the end now. The next video is going to be about the wheels and tires. So thanks for watching this video. If you got anything out of it, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.